Okay, we'll try to derive the Bessel equation from the generating function. So the generating function in section 14.1 for the Bessel function is uh, given by this, uh, you see, uh, x is a uh, little g, so uh, to the x to the q, Sum of all integers um, to the power n. Okay, so uh, that uh, in itself is uh, just a lower end expansion of this function, but uh, there are several ways to identify this coefficient j sub n. Uh, the basal function of integer order of n. And uh, in the textbook, also the list uh, derivation, like first uh, derive the recurrence formula from the generating function, and then uh, using the recurrence formula to derive the basal equation. So that uh, that is uh, doable and slightly more complicated, but uh, you can actually derive the best equation from the generating function directly. Uh, maybe a little bit easier. And so that's what we'll do. So the best equation, uh, we'll write that best equation as in this form. So I operate the L on N sub N. X is. Uh, just x square, b square, and x square plus x dx of x square. So basically, this is the operator L and operator J sub n, x, which will give you n square and g square. Okay, that uh, we'll try to show that this is satisfied with this equation. And to do that, uh, we can operate on using the operate operator g directly. g, which uh, if you operate on this side, obviously, it's just, uh, because it's operate on function x and y, so it's uh, actually. Uh, and t to the power right? But if you operate on, on this side, then uh, you can just directly carry out the derivative. So, so you have a few different terms. Uh, one is this uh, ddx. When you do a ddx, uh, you pull out the uh, one half t minus one of t. Pull out this factor out and multiply by the same function, same exponential function, which is just g. And for this one, you basically do it two times. But this one, you multiply by x. So after you do it, you have to multiply by x, that's this term. But this one, you do it two times, so you pull out this factor twice. So you square of this one, one over one half of t minus one over t, and then multiply by x squared. And finally, you plus x squared. And everything proportional to g, so uh, so that's uh, straightforward. So it will be so this is uh, x squared over four minus one square. So that this term and this term is plus x over two minus one over two, and finally you have this x squared. In terms of G. Right. So that uh, L operator G is this one. And then uh, there's a simplification because you can combine this x squared term to this x squared term. So you have this one and then plus this uh, four, one over four times this one. And this square gives you T square minus two. Plus one over t squared. 
So yes, at minus two, divided by four, three minus one half, and then plus one, three, one half. So you can change that, basically get rid of that F sub to this, this form, but change the sign. T minus one, one over T to T plus one over T. So, so that's slightly simpler than than original form. But, uh, it doesn't matter actually. Go ahead and do that. Right. So that's uh, L operating G. And that's what we we try to show that this equals to n squared times uh, Jn. The n, J sub n is going to be here. And we operate L on this one. We want to pull out the n square. And to do that, you can take the derivative of, of t. If you take a one derivative of t, we give you n times t to the n minus one. And you can change t to the n, n minus one back to t to the power n by multiplied by t. So, so you get an n coefficient if you operate t times d dt on this, this t, t to the n vector. And you do it twice, you'll pull out the n squared. Okay, so, so basically you have, you know, if you do, uh, that's what we we're saying, uh, one over t, not one over t, times partial partial t, and do it twice. Operate on g, that, uh, that will give you, and on the right hand side will give you just n square j sub n. Right, this operates on that give you this one. Right. And now the you can operate g directly from this, this function and do the same derivative. And so when you do the partial partial t for this uh, generating function, you pull out x over two, and the derivative of this one is one minus minus one over t squared times one plus one over t squared. Okay, and then you multiply by t, that gives you a t plus one over t. Okay, we, we can do it uh, in two steps. So, and the first one will give you x over two. And keep this one over t. Right. And multiply by g. Okay, so that's uh, after the first duty. Now the second, this duty. So it operates on two parts. So one is of the operate on g, which is exactly the same, same term. So it basically, the square of this one, you just take the take the DDT of this and multiply by t, you get the square of this one. Then the other one is take the derivative of this one, this will be one minus one over t square. You multiply by t, give t minus one over t. Okay, so that uh, what we'll do. So so that two. The square of that looks good as well. Square. And then there's the other one is and then multiply by g. Okay. Now you see that this is exactly that. This two are the same. Okay. Which means uh, this is the same as this one. Or you can write it out explicitly. L minus n squared. If this equals to that, this equals to that, give this one. So this is implied because of all the power n, the coefficient of power n, 
the right hand side is your article which you must be zero. So arrow. Yes, it is clear. This thing is zero for all n. Okay, for all integer n. Last time we divided for, for another way to uh, the integral form of a non integer. For that. For integer is satisfied. Right. Um, so, and this this L is given by uh, this operator, and that is the uh, Bessel equation. So that uh, finishes our derivation.